Guys, I'm off at my cousin's house. Uh, my uncle passed away this week, so I was attending a funeral. I lived to the ripe old age of 91. He was a CPA all the way up to the end. You know, amazing guy. Uh, what happened while we were here was interesting seeing all the family members and talking to my cousins and, and one of my cousins was talking about he's been watching the stock market. He was a very avid follower of the stock market and he was watching it go down one day. And this is all the way up, you know, just like the day before he passed away and he goes, I don't know why everybody's getting all concerned. This happened, and, you know, here's a guy that's been watching it for decades and decades. It always comes back and things always you know come out just fine and i don't know why everybody gets all worked up and i thought you know that sounds an awful lot like me <laughs> and that's i'm always talking about it. it always comes back we don't ever have to worry about whether we're going to recover but then i saw a video and the video was a good way of explaining why things always come back now it had nothing to do with the stock market it was talking about these three rings and they had these three rings that are stacked on top of each other the bottom one was a ring that represented stagnation. You know, when we have stagnation in our lives, we never grow, nothing's happening, nothing new, nothing really good. The second level is where we get in comfort. And when we're comfortable, it may feel good for a while, but it's not a good place to stay because you don't grow at all. Nothing new happens, you know, there, there's no forward progress. The third area, I'm gonna skip for now. The fourth area was chaos. Well, we don't want chaos because we don't know what to expect. So we want some sort of order in our lives. And that's a good thing because when we have chaos, we can't make any kind of plans whatsoever. He said the third area is where you want to be, which is the area of complexity. Now, that's a perfect explanation of the stock market. There's complexity always in business. You know, when things are going great, we may not need to do anything, but when things start to get a little bit stale and maybe, you know, my business model isn't working as well, a new competitor shows up, or let's say a recession starts to appear, or we have new tariffs, or we have, you know, new tax laws and things that change, then that complexity forces us to innovate and forces us to move forward in some way. And he was talking about his daughter, a tennis coach, who knew about these levels of, uh, of growth. And he says, yeah, you know, he goes, your daughter actually broke down on the court today. She was, she was crying. And he says, you know, before I would say, oh my goodness, we got to save my daughter. This is terrible. What, what did you do? Blah, blah, blah. And he goes, the, the man actually talked about how, you know, it actually took me longer to get her than there than normal. <laughs> and, and he goes, yeah, that's really good. Why? Because she's going to have to grow because she has hit a wall of complexity that she's got to break through and she's going to grow and she's going to be better for it. And I was talking to one of the guys from the radio station and he was talking about how, man, I want to have my money work as hard as I am. And I says, you know, it's interesting. I said, we can talk about the tortoise and the hare. You know, the tortoise and the hare, it's a bad analogy because who wins the race? Slow and steady, the tortoise does. The hare goes really, really fast and then goes and takes a nap. Well, if we look at fixed income, it may win over the short run, fixed income investments, but it never wins over the long run. It's not never the winner, it never has been, and very unlikely to be the winner over the long run. A better analogy would be like your computer. Have you ever loaded a computer program and you're like, oh man, this is taking forever to load, I can't get it to load, and you get really, really frustrated. And all of a sudden, bam, the, the bar moves forward and it loads really, really fast. Well, that's like the stock market. It can look like it's doing nothing or it can be going backward, and then all of a sudden, bam, it, it shoots forward at the time you least expect it. So when I look at you know, the recession worries or tariff worries and all of those things, I think, yeah, this too shall pass. I thought this would be a good video for today. We'll catch you next time.